This is a single cylinder, double acting, pneumatic engine, built by Clifford Brandenburger. This one here is uh, pretty unique. The way it works is uh, we have our single cylinder here, pushes and can pull. And it operates this slide with a chain, straight chain, both ends, kind of like a rack and pinion would be. And then on this side is a one-way bearing on that sprocket you can see it only gauges one way on the other side here is the same thing on just an empty flywheel has uh, it engages drives up but a free wheel down same thing over here just engages down in this case free wheels up and on this guy on this freewheeling side it also has the rotary valve that operates the cylinder so the way this works is this is going to drive in the end up and down and drive this one way because it's going to freewheel on the back on that one way bearing same with the opposite side but somehow it keeps keeps itself in time with this rotary valve here best I can explain it if this piston is getting behind it will start to start to run low bottom out over here allowing this to freewheel just enough when it bottoms out and suddenly stops this freewheels just enough to advance this valve until it's operating just right on the other hand if this is getting too advanced this is pushing more than it's pulling it runs up against this stop here allows the opposite in the end this thing always catches itself up and runs perfectly in time uh, I'm not sure exactly how it does it other than what I explained there Somehow you got all that to work out. Here, uh, I'll give you a demo on all this with the load and everything. All right. All right, cylinder's down. We bring this around so that the uh, rotary valve catches on. And it takes off. Notice it's not hitting the top. Not hitting the bottom either. But if I load this side down, it'll start hitting the bottom if you hear it. And the rotary valve just catches it back up. If I load this side down, it's hitting the top there. It must freewheel in there a little bit. Now it's running right back in time again. It's like a self-timing mechanical engine. made parts cast his own cylinder down there so uh, that took some thinking on this one